Be Me, D&D 5th Edition, new campaign with a small group of outcasts. Have a halfling rogue and a dragonborn barbarian, decide that magic is for sissies, party is of questionable morality, get the okay for something more exotic. End of Beyong Arang, the Grung Shadow Monk. Two feet tall and twenty pounds of froggy fury. On a secret mission from his tribe to infiltrate and scout out the outside world. Lawful evil but nobody has any idea. Didn't realize until after creation Grung don't speak common. Only knows Grung and Dark Elf silent. Rogue knows the wrong kind of sign language. Absolutely no idea what any of the quests are or what the party is doing. Just sits in his bucket and waits to be unleashed on the enemy. Wields a mighty river reed spear. Functions as his spear, a blowgun, and his racial instrument the whistle stick. Threads his blow darts into his skin to poison them and carry them around. Only other possession is a bucket for the barbarian to carry him and since he needs water to live. Poison skin means his spear and darts can do poison damage. Any physical contact can cause poison status. This includes kicks to the face. Can't tell the party not to touch the frog. They have no idea what he is, what he does, where he's from, or why he's here. Found him by the river eating bugs. All they know is the blank stare when they try to tell him anything. Rogue names him Mr. Froggy. Hunting down a group of goblins and bugbears that kidnapped a blacksmith's daughter. Rogue and Frog sneak ahead to scout. Use frog powers to jump 25 feet at a time and stick to trees. DM lets the blowgun darts do regular dart damage due to giant inflatable cheek pouches. Pick off watch goblins with arrows and blow darts. Dragonborn thinks sneaking is for cowards and charges in. Jump from treetop to treetop like Naruto wishes he could. Stab goblins in the head with a spear then jump away. Barbarian knocks down bugbear chief with a heavy blow. Fly out of a tree and get him while he's down. More bugbears run into a cave. Run inside. Beyond jumps straight up and sticks to the ceiling. Fights upside down the entire encounter. Whole party nearly dies. Finish off the last bugbear with a froggy karate kick to the face. Drop to the floor and shake spear overhead with a shrill victory croak. Dragonborn says Beyong isn't bad for a frog. Beyong stares at him blankly. Ribbit. Dragonborn laughs and slaps Beyong on the back. Nearly knocks the frog out. Passes his poison save. Dragonborn still has no idea frog is poisonous. Return to town with blacksmith's daughter. Take a level in rogue so Beyong can communicate with the halfling in thieves can't. Takes a long time but it gets the point across. Realize the flaw of sharing a language that is 50% secret handshakes with the poison frog. Have to take a break after every exchange so the poison can wear off. Settles for drawing symbols in the dirt with his stick most of the time. Hear about a bugbear infestation in a nearby cave. Decide to rest in the village for a bit and shop around for magic items. Beyond gets lucky and finds the only two items in the world he needs for sale. Shopkeeper stares as a large frog hops into his magic store. Dump a large pile of gold and weapons on his counter. Takes a ring and a jug worth a quarter of the pile and leave. Alchemy jug for a nice place to sleep with a constant supply of fresh water among other things. Ring of jumping so that Beyong can jump 75 feet from a sitting position. 45 foot vertical. Flight is for the weak. DM makes the horrible mistake of pointing out a jewelry store. Halfling doesn't see a good way to rob it. Doesn't want to anger the locals either. Beyong may have no concept of money but he does like shiny rocks. Prepare the ultimate heist. Jump onto the roof and check all the windows. No good way in without alerting the two apprentice shopkeepers. Jump back to the front of the building. Sit in front of the entry door. Sing the song of my people as loudly as possible. Five minutes later one of the shopkeepers comes out. Sees a big frog screaming its head off. Picks it up and decides to take it back to the river across the street. Fails his poison check right as he reaches the bridge. Doesn't feel too good. Beyong makes sure nobody is looking. Two frog kicks directly to the face. Knock him out and jump back to the shop in a single bound. Start croaking again. Second shopkeeper thinks something is up and takes a swing at the frog with a sword. Misses and gets frog kicked in the face. Hop into the shop and find a large gemstone in a glass case. Try to use newly learned thieves tools to pick the lock. Nat one and break the lock picks. Fuck it. Use random twigs and sticky frog tongue to pick the lock. Got it. Slowly open the case and grab gemstone with tongue. Hop out the window and recover alchemy jug from the woods. Select mayonnaise as the daily liquid and dump a gallon of it on each of the KO'd apprentices. 
jumped back to the inn as the halfling stares in equal amounts of amazement and horror. Ask why the mayo. DM agrees and asks why Beyong isn't chaotic. Explain the beauty of it all. The shopkeeper will come to work and see his finest gem gone. Both of his apprentices have been soaking in the sun covered in mayo for hours. Their excuse will be a frog kicked their asses. Later that night hear screaming from outside the inn. Beyong pops his head out of the jug as the halfling throws the door to the inn open. Goblins burning down the stables across the street. Halfling shoots an arrow and kills one. The rest turn and blast her with short bows. Go back to burning down the stables. Hop out of the jug and drag her inside. Poison isn't helping her death saves. Force feed her multiple healing potions. Crawl out the window onto the roof. Rogue learns a lesson and takes shots from the window this time. Barbarian doesn't care and knocks the door down as he charges into them. Pick them off with darts and arrows and the dragonborn contributes to the fire with yet more fire. Jump over the burning buildings with the alchemy jug and dump salt water over them. Find out the goblins are coming from an abandoned dungeon. Set off in the morning riding on the dragonborn's shoulder. Constitution is so high on him he passes the save almost every time. When he does fail he isn't doing any attacks or skill checks. Still has no idea the frog is poisonous. Dungeon is absolutely packed with bugbears and goblins. Slowly grind our way through room by room. Nearly get wiped multiple times. No room to maneuver in the long tunnels. Just volley what we can before they get hand to hand. Finally get to the last room. Jump into the middle with flurry of blows. Swinging absolutely everywhere. Miss half my attacks for the next 8 rounds. Bugbears keep getting poisoned so they keep missing too. Everyone flails around in a cluster fuck for about an hour. Dragonborn and Halfling both KO'd with one bugbear left. Jump out of the room and down the hall. Getting chased through the dungeon by a very angry bugbear. Loop around back into the room with the code party. Bugbear comes barreling around the corner on the long end of the hall. Fire off the wall like a dart. Nail him with the spear in the chest after a 60 foot jump. Screech loudly and wave spear in the air with 3 horsepower left. Dragonborn pulls himself off the ground and cheers. Slaps the frog on the back as he walks by. Knocks the frog out. Also hits a skin dart. Fails the poison save. Dies. So, if you haven't uh, noticed the lighting style or anything, this was written by Felix, um, the guy that did of Guys and Goblins and the of Hands and Hookers. I love his stuff. I think it's really good. I love the way it's written. If you get the chance, definitely go ahead and check them out yourself. I think they're outstanding. And he actually got in contact with me. He joined the Discord and stuff a few weeks back. And uh, no, he's a really cool guy. Um, I love his shit. And, you know, what I love the most is I love... I love the characters that he creates and how they interact with everyone else and even the most mundane things just sound great like you know like um of Hans and Hookers with the gay wizard and all that and then this one yeah yeah how can you make it how can you actually make a frog sound like a solo character that you can't even talk with your other teammates like honestly that sounds oh I love this type of shit you know because it actually does like, oh I, I want to try that you know that's that's what I like about these stories it gives like you know I think it gives people inspiration for their own stories that they would like to do and I just love that type of shit you know so um, if you have the chance, check out Felix, also check out the Discord, and you know, look, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I thought this was great, I fucking love that with the mayo and all that, but uh, look, I'll talk to you guys later. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio, you might just find something you like. Just stop! Just stop it! Stop! No! Just stop it! It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services! It's time to stop!